all right now let's look at this question this will test your concepts on sql option e says needs select permission to view on the view and the underlying table select on both view and table ensures access uh, ensures access to the view and its source data let's keep it we'll move to b b says needs select permission only on the view select on the view alone fails if underlying table access is missing hence wrong answer let's move to option c c says needs all privileges on the view all privileges on view is excessive and doesn't guarantee table access wrong answer let's move to option d d says needs all privileges at the schema level all privileges at the schema level grants broad control but doesn't ensure access to specific tables used in the view therefore incorrect we'll lock option e as the right answer let's bring it to the snow this is a multiple choice question we need to select two correct answers and the equation will test your concepts on enforcing governance in databricks unity catalog option e says set up more than one meta store in the databricks account console ensuring only one exists per region meta store is reg is region bound enforcing one region for workspace assignment let's keep this we'll move to b b says assign managed location to both catalog and schema when the unity catalog meta store lacks an associated location managed location is required at catalog or schema level only if meta store lacks one not both simultaneously therefore wrong answer we'll move to now option c c says define multiple catalogs within a single meta store and attempt to link one catalog to multiple meta store catalog cannot span multiple meta stores it belongs to one meta store therefore wrong answer let's look at option d d says ensure that if the meta store has no associated location the catalog must be configured with a managed location catalog must define managed location if meta store has none ensuring data path governance that being said option e and d are the right answers all right all right let's now look at this question option e says constraint a valid location expect location equal to null null expectation contradicts the requirement to enforce presence of location therefore wrong answer we'll move to b b says constraint valid location expect location not equal to null on violation fail update fail update stops update operation but doesn't terminate the pipeline wrong choice we'll move to c c says constraint valid location expect location not equal to null on drop row drop row skips invalid records which violates the termination requirement therefore wrong choice let's move to option d d says constraint valid location expect location not equal to null on violation fail violation fail enforces pipeline termination when constraint is breached looks good if you look at the official documentation here violation uh, fail invalid records prevent the update from succeeding manual intervention is required before reprocessing this expectation causes a failure of a single flow and doesn't cause other flows in your pipeline to fail that's what is required let's lock option d as the right choice we have a brainstorming question this time which will test your concepts on path in the external location option e says define an external table with its location set to a specific path in an external location external table allows explicit control over storage path in external location let's keep it we'll move to b b says define an external table where the schema includes a managed location that points to a specific path in an external location schema level managed location applies to managed tables not 
external table path control incorrect we'll move to c c says create a manage table where the catalog includes a managed location that points to a specific path in an external location catalog level manage location governs manage tables not external table placement wrong choice we'll move to option d d says create a manage table and assign its location to a specific path in an external location manage table cannot define location manually it inherits from schema or catalog let's delete this if you look at the official documentation external tables it says tables that reference data stored in external storage systems while managing metadata in unity catalog that's what is required we'll lock option a as the right answer all right all right now let's look at this as per the question we need to migrate the pipeline to delta live tables using a batch source instead option a says configure the pipeline to include notebook sources written in both sql and python mixed languages notebooks uh, don't support uh, 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 mixed uh, i mean the mixed uh, language notebooks are supported but not required for this migration constra uh, constraint if you look right uh, therefore we'll reject it we'll move to an option b b says redesign the pipeline so that all logic is implemented using sql sql only design limits flexibility and doesn't address the source change requirement wrong answer we'll move to now c c says modify the pipeline to replace the streaming source with a batch source batch source aligns with the migration constraint and simplifies pipeline stability let's keep it we'll move to d d says redesign the pipeline so that all logic is implemented using python python only rewrite is unnecessary and doesn't address the ingestion source change we'll delete this we'll lock option c as the right answer all righty now let's look at this question this is all about siloed data structures by looking at the keyword you might be already guessing the correct answer and another keyword is the simplify option e is delta lake delta lake adds reliability to lakes but doesn't unify multiple architecture types incorrect we'll move to b b says data lake data lake handles raw data but lacks structured query and governance features wrong answer we'll move to now option c c says data warehouse data warehouse supports structured analytics but excludes unstructured and streaming workloads therefore wrong choice we are left off with option d it says data lake house data lake house merges lake and warehouse as the name suggests if you look lake and here house comes from the warehouse so uh, basically data uh, lake house merges lake and lake uh, lake and warehouse capabilities to support varied use cases in one architecture if you look at the official documentation here is a, a, di a diagrammatic uh, view of it that is data warehouse is here data lake is there and data lake house is there right so uh, if you we'll read the headline it says data lake house simplicity that is simplify or uh, simple flexibility and low cost that being said we'll lock data lake house as the right answer all right all right now let's look at this question this is about enabling access to the prior version without disrupting the current table state option e says truncate the table to remove all data then reload the data from two weeks ago into the truncated table for the analyst to query truncating and reloading risk data integrity and disrupts current table state incorrect we'll move to now option b b says use the delta transaction log to find the version from two weeks ago then either share the version as of reference or export that version to a new delta table version as of enables time travel without altering or overwriting the current table let's keep this we'll move to c c says apply the restore command to revert the table to its two week old state and let 
the analyst queried. Restore changes the active table state, which may affect other users or processes. Wrong choice. Option D, if you look, says run the vacuum command to delete portions older than two weeks, leaving the analyst with the latest version to query. Vacuum deletes historical versions, making time travel to two weeks ago impossible. We'll delete this. Let's lock option B as the right answer. Alrighty, we have a multiple choice question. We need to select two correct answers and the question will test your concepts on control plane of architecture. Option A says virtual machine. Virtual machine operate in the data plane and do not manage orchestration or governance. Wrong answer. Option B says compute orchestration. Compute orchestration handles job scheduling and workflow coordination, which are control plane function. Let's keep it. We'll move to C. C says serverless compute. Serverless compute executes workloads but doesn't participate in control logic or metadata management wrong choice option d says unity catalog unity catalog manages metadata permissions and governance centrally within the control plane another correct answer will lock option b compute orchestration and option d unity catalog as the right answer all right now let's look at this question this is about scheduling the job in production in a most cost efficient and scalable compute option. Option E says all purpose cluster. All purpose cluster is optimized for interactive development, not scheduled production workload. Incorrect. We'll move to B. B says any Unity catalog enabled cluster. Unity catalog enabled cluster defines access control, not execution mode. Wrong answer. We'll move to C. C says jobs cluster. Jobs cluster is designed for scheduled, automated and cost efficient job execution. This meets the requirement of the equation. We'll keep it. We'll move to an option D. D says serverless SQL warehouse. Serverless SQL warehouse is optimized for SQL workloads, not Python based data ingestion. We'll delete this. We'll lock option C jobs cluster as the right answer. All right, now let's tackle this question. This is all about full privileges. The question will test your concepts on privileges and uh, granting using the uh, SQL command. Option E says grant all privileges on table sales to team. So this enables unrestricted access to perform all operations required for ELT task on the sales table. Looks good, we'll keep it, we'll move to B. Option B says grant select create modify on table sales to team. So this misses critical permissions like delete and drop limiting full control over the table. So this is incorrect. We'll move to now option C. She says grant select on table sales to team. So this will restrict the team to read only access which is not suitable for transformation and load operations. Wrong choice. We'll move to D. This is grant all privileges on table team to sales. So this misplaces the access direction by assigning rights to the wrong entity. Let's delete this. Well, lock option is the right answer. So please, please, please don't go away. Let's meet in next part of this series.